Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play the Latin Empire Open of Stars 4 where we're sort of moving to the east now. With the fact that the west is a little bit of... it's not really profitable. It heavily isn't. And well, I'm gonna be trying to fix some of the stuff that's going on. Oh, you're kidding. That's not nice now, is it? No good. A cruel emperor is not a good emperor. Not in the slightest. So, I have to really know where each of these are going, so... What I'll be trying to do is... What is rum allied with? Only Azerbaijan. What is Azerbaijan allied with? All of that. So, you are allied with Mogadishu, Azerbaijan and Kawaz. So, effectively, this, this, and this. If I attack Rum, for specific provinces as well now, sp particular. I should be able to, in theory, uh, break Azerbaijan as well, and get them to break their alliance with Egypt. Which would weaken the situation of the Muslim powers. So I'm gonna get up there and start fabricating on you. And you. Now, I'm going to expand my interest of the area to a little further east. No, I am not bothered. Ah, uh, freaking hell. It's so poor. Because the autosaves literally stop the game for like 28 years. Thank you. At very least, oh my. Can you fuck off? You stupid like publications. So, all of that, at very least, is my eastern interest. As you can see, rum is gonna get hit pretty hard if I am allowed to rip them up. Guria is the only province from Azerbaijan I could conquer. And I'm not really sure what their numbers are. I know Kawaz in Egypt would probably contribute a lot, but if I were to declare on Rum, I could easily get Azerbaijan out, which is in itself a fair chunk of their power continue the game, because I imagine Azerbaijan at least contributes a significant force. So currently Egypt has 70,000, which is pretty strong. Azerbaijan has about 55,000, 56,000, and Azerbaijan, who is probably down here somewhere, if I can find them, they might have less than 20,000, but I doubt it, I've probably missed them. They must have. They're back up here, aren't they? Azerbaijan would contribute that many? Excuse me. What? So Azerbaijan is actually a really powerful nation. Like, bloody hell. I mean, these guys... Okay, you have a 38 development province. You can feel 25,000. I might want to actually call the Pauls in, because I think they're going to be needed, now that I think about it. Let's restore the marriage, though. Well, Poland wanted that anyway, so you know. So really, the best uh, way to field this would be you in both of you in Sievers. Uh, 
calling them against them is going to be very useful. At very least, the Dana and Marash will fall in the first war. Hopefully, more though will fall than that. Considering Azerbaijan would contribute more, I definitely want Azerbaijan to break their alliance with Egypt. No doubt about it. And I sort of want that now. So, breaking those is going to be very fun. And, to be honest, Rum is pretty weak in comparison, but he's kept up to tech. Azerbaijan, on the other hand, has not. Azerbaijan is a tech behind. Egypt is the one that is most severely out of tech, at that far behind. But he has got defensive ideas. He's taken full offensive. That is concerning on pretty much every level. Very, very bad, very concerning. How do I deal with this, I wonder? <laughs> Just piss them all off, good. So this will give me better leaders. This will be recruitment time and this is the leaders. Now, really, it's only the end part of the idea group that I really like, and that is the discipline. And siege ability, and the leaders is stupidly good. That's a fort way inside my nation. I can, I'm perfectly fine leaving that die for ten years, because I doubt this war, even with Azerbaijan being pretty much a, t a horrendously powerful nation. The thing is, I'm quite sure a certain nation here wants a bit of their land as well. Ooh. Yep. Pereslav wants a bit of land. Should be able to afford this. He is rival to Sweden. But the fact is, I can call in him in Poland, and Poland has a guaranteed way, I think, effectively, of getting there. He just has to get access through Lithuania. Sweden or Bulgaria, and I'm quite sure at least one is going to give access. So now I have three separate allies, and he has a good... Yeah, he has a thick... Uh, is that 67,000? So he's pretty strong himself. Oh my, this isn't going very well, is it? Well, he's pretty far behind in tech overall. And if I take the provinces that he may get Renaissance embraced in, well, that's going to just delay his growth even further. Provinces of the Renaissance. Now, getting several armies over in here is not really a worthwhile thing. So that should move the armies around in a way that would put them in a good fashion for the war. Now, Azerbaijan has 31,000 up here. Azerbaijan is going to lose land, though and I am going to ensure that in a simple fashion. First of all, I'm going to try and weaken him to the extent that he... He's first of all going to lose land up here, and I'm going to make sure of that. Most likely give this like area here to Perislav and take maybe Crimea for myself. Feodoro and Kaffa are very well-developed provinces, and I would enjoy having those. But Guria and Kars the priority from him. The priority from Rum is the three border provinces. Rum's a scorped tech as well. 
Oh wait, he's actually a tech behind, so he has no cannons. Ooh. That could really mess up with him, couldn't it? Should probably check which of the provinces were most developed here. Yeah, it was definitely Rizum. And I should have fabricated on that. Okay, Malayata is very well developed. And is going to be a pain to convert and so on. Ooh. Yes, Sweden? Sure. What are you doing? I might lose my alliance with the Pauls then, if I go for what my plan is to be in the West. Now he's orthodox, so he would happily help fight the Pauls, I think. I think he will eventually form Russia. What's his tech? He's at the same tech as them, so a little backwards. Lovely. And while the Latin ideas are not built towards having, like, you know, a massive force, the National Manpower Modifier at the end would help. That's ambition, I believe they're called. And, well, what forts are there here? There's a capital fort, there's that, and there's no fort there. That's perfect, then. You go there, you go there, and you... And we'll see where else to go from there. There's probably going to be a lot of death on the run side early on, when I slam into them with pretty much everything I have to offer. He's actually fighting Ethiopia again. Good job, Egypt. You're still... Has he still not really made any progress at all against him? Those two just... They just do that as a hobby now, I swear. Now, do I want to go for the next tech really badly, or do I want to take uh, the ideas? Because I will be calling stuff soon, so this might be a bit difficult to acquire. Hmm. Inquisition would be very good. Divine Supremacy is very powerful, though. Yeah, I'll be going for the first military idea. The admin I'm not so sure on. But either way. Once the rum is vulnerable... And that means once I've got the call or uh, not call claim on Urizum, I will be going for them, and I will be calling in several people to help batter the absolute living g uh, stuff out of them. Stuff doesn't want. Uh, are you kidding? Well, I'm not going to rely on you, because I think me and Poland alone can do it. Even I alone could probably do it. So, ten... Well, I'd have to wait eight years for you to be ready. And to be honest, I don't want to wait eight years. Rum is actually getting a head-on tech, which isn't very encouraging. What's Poland looking like? Yeah, he's up to tech. He's good. And, well, I think I'll attack Rum that moment that claims formed. So, land leader shock, which basically means any leader will now have at least one shock pip, which is absolutely brilliant. Was France actually... was he stupid enough? He was. France, you are going to get utterly pummeled. Look at it. 
France and Portugal are now p being pretty much destroyed by Brandenburg and Sweden. Keep in mind, I normally was keeping a lot held up, and I was often going up here, but I probably overestimated my own contribution, but they're still going to die. That's all I can say. <sighs> and, well, if I take these three provinces here, that will open up the way for these next three provinces there. Trust your neighbour. Oh, stability. So you're growing at about zero. So zero point seven five a month. That's pretty slow, if you ask me. But oh well. Hmm. And well, the Reformation is definitely going to be hurting the entirety of Europe, considering what it's looking like. Now, taking these two provinces here, Guria and Kars, will help a little. For the simple fact is, that gives me another border province. It's mountains and a fort. It's slightly further. Slightly further. Am I coach converting all of this? I was coach converting most of it. Let's coach convert Vidin as well. There's a reason that's going so slow, and that's why. So let's just spend all of my Diplo on starting the coach convert things to Greek. Oh look, Egypt is actually being crushed by Ethiopia. Good job, Ethiopia. I'm proud of you. So, Azerbaijan is caught up, but they're not going to have any cannons really for a while. That's what I can say. So, next war is definitely the war that is going to be a big war. It's going to be against Rum and Azerbaijan, and then we'll be able to probably follow it up with stuff against the Egyptians after we break their alliance with Azerbaijan and have recovered a short period of time. Is there anything else I can do to really mess up Azerbaijan? Well, I could, you know, tell them, can you die? Horribly. Oh, and kindly, would you just, like, have rebellions and collapse? Because Russian up here is not accepted. And that's what I'll probably aim to do. To break them. And I think that would work quite well. Possibly, when we have these two, we try to just drive their armies down hard enough, though, that they get declared a war upon by, say, Perislav, who is currently a militaristic ruler, so them getting smashed is likely going to bring in much more into it. Because while their allies are quite strong, Egypt, namely, I think making them break their alliances with Egypt and the Gurids, because the Gurids all the way over here will still be counted by the AI, but doing that will probably make them utterly smash. I have money here. Why would I want to even bother with that? So, either way, what else is there to look at? Well, if I break them, and say Perislav takes all of this, or Perislav, that would make one of my allies stronger. And it would also weaken one of my biggest enemies. And Egypt, who is currently being trashed, is probably not going to be as much resistance as expected. Because Ethiopia is a lot 
smaller than them and Ethiopia is crushing them. So Egypt was able to embrace the Renaissance. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. He's still awful in tech though. And he still got crushed. Really, Sweden? Really? We have very good relations, and he's like, nah, I'm not bothered. And it's because it's Perislav and Poland. And to be honest, I'm just going to increase trust with you and hope that helps. That's probably not going to help at all, though. Okay, it did. What? That actually helped. I am surprised. But anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time, where we shall see just what we can do. Yep, and it can break again, but we can see just what we can do to shatter Azerbaijan, and quite hopefully, actually, break apart the Middle Eastern block and take all of Egypt eventually. Open the way for that. So thank you for watching and I shall see you next time. Bye for now.